Greetings, friends. Got a Yabo and a Yapo to open up today. Um, both packages I've been waiting on because um, I had some hints uh, that they might be coming. One I knew of in particular, the other I wasn't quite sure, but uh, kind of thought it would be. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you can read that. This is from Logan Myers. <clears throat> he had dropped some rather uh, large hint bombs that something might be coming my way. Grab my uh, Enlon MO3 from Tactical X-rays, Alex in Germany. Ooh, that smells tasty right out of the bag. Got a note. Tim, hope this package finds you in good health and spirits. It does, Logan. Thanks. It most certainly has been a long time coming. Not really. Enclosed are some goodies you might enjoy and lots of them. Wow. Firstly, Philosopher is from the tinderbox I've mentioned in a few videos. It is a Latakia English that is mild enough for an all-day smoke. Next, some Rum Runner, also from the tinderbox. This Virginia and Burley Cavendish will have you relaxed in no time. The New England Rum dressing is made to is mild to medium in this aromatic. Finally, the Pièce de Résistance limited edition cherry Lord of the Rings. This cherry infused Latakia blend will have you fighting alongside Frodo and his fellowship as you make your way toward Mount Doom to destroy the One Ring. The aftertaste stays with you like scars from battle against orcs. <laughs> Once the bowl has extinguished, you'll feel as if you truly were in Middle Earth and long to return. I requested the regular Lord of the Rings blend, but found that the regular house blend was replaced with the cherry for a limited, limited time only. It comes from Indio Cigar here in Charleston. Hope you enjoy, brother. P.S. I also included some softy bits. Best wishes, Logan. Logan, thank you so much. I'm thrilled beyond measure. Rum Runner. Mmm. That smells good. Thank you. Wow, that's more than a sample, Logan. That's huge. Philosopher. Mm. Mm, that smells real good. Thank you very much. That's, that's a huge sample, Logan. Thank you. And on a college student's budget, you shouldn't have. Cherry Lord of the Rings. I thought there might be something coming with the Lord of the Rings theme. So I've got my freehand Cobb Warden all ready to fire up. That's going to be my smoke this morning. 
Cherry, Lord of the Rings. Well, that's, that's more than a sample too, Logan. Thank you, brother, so much. I appreciate it. You need to save your money for books and not sending me pipe tobaccos. My next is a Yabo. I don't know if you can see that. The stamp has the Queen of England on it, so we know it's from across the pond. The only thing I've done is... I opened, uh, took some tape off the ends of the package because it seems to be wrapped rather well. And inside, there's a nice box. This is double wrapped. Alex, I am putting your Enlon to good use ever since you sent it. And it's still just as sharp as the day I got it. Wow, this thing is triple wrapped. <laughs> getting down there, getting closer. Goodness gracious. That box is packed. Room note. Tim, I hope this package finds you in good health and hasn't taken too long to arrive. <clears throat> I've included some different snuffs for you to try. There are a few menthol in here and some others you might like. I've attached a note explaining and describing each one so you have an idea of what it is you are smelling. They have extra tape on for freshness and some, and so none explode. Oh my God, <laughs> exploding snuff. If you don't like any, feel free to pass along to other pipers. I'm certain they won't all be to your taste. Thanks for being such a great guy and an awesome pipe friend. Warmest regards and much love. Ben, snuff begins. Ben, thank you so much. The other pages I, uh, I can see are the uh, explanations of the snuffs that he sent. There's some... Pipe tobacco is in here as well. Samuel Galwith Chocolate Flake. I've only had a couple of flakes in my pipe smoking experience, so I'm... Hmm. That smells quite tasty. This is going to be a really long video today. I'm... Samuel Galwith, Squadron Leader, my first taste. Heard a lot about it. Seen a lot of you speak highly of it on videos. And Samuel Galwith, Christmas Mixture. Boy, I've got enough tobacco to sample for the entire year of 2014 oh my goodness Ben this says uh, Wilson's of Sharrow snuff aniseed and eucalyptus
it, this, it's written in a, an English style text and I'm, I don't have my glasses on so I'm struggling to read it and I, I don't want to take up your time. It's from Freiburg and Treyer. I was looking for the name of the of the blend, but I, I can't decipher it, so. That says Radford, Radford Snuff. This is a Kendall Hazelnut. My goodness. Fubar, shot of rum. I'm, I'm sure you won't be able to read that. It says Singleton's Super Menthol Snuff. I'd ask him in particular, he said he was going to send me some snuff, and I he asked if I had anything in mind, and I said, no, not really, but I thought maybe a menthol might, um, you know, might be good, kind of open up the, uh, the airways. I'm pretty sure that says Rummies. Rummies, English snuff. <clears throat> Rummies, export snuff. Original English recipe. Wow, fellas. Logan, Ben, thank you so much. Uh, you guys outdid yourselves. Uh, much appreciated, Ben. I know it wasn't uh, inexpensive to send all of this all the way to the United States. So I really, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'm overwhelmed. I've, I've got a lot of, got a lot of sampling to do. And the first thing I'm going to do, Logan, is load up that bowl with some, uh, oh, my mind just went blank, blank, Lord of the Rings cherry. All right, guys, till we meet again, friends, happy trails.